you beautiful people. I'm going to put some makeup on, but I'm going to talk about some of the different things that I like and different things. This video is going to be a quite a few different things, like some of the brands and the things that I like in life. And a lot of times I'll do YouTube shorts and you, it's 15 seconds, 14 seconds. You really can't talk much about it, but I'm going to tell you the names. I don't have the products I need to crack my knee right in front of me for a say, but I'm going to tell you why I like them. And you can pretty much take what I say to the bank. It's I, I'm not trying to sell sound sarcastic or whatever, but I've, I've done tests myself where I've tried things and I've tried other brands and they just don't match up. I'm going to give you, for instance... I love Bounty paper towels, but Bounty is the most expensive paper towel there is. So I'm going to tell you what to do. Buy Bounty Essentials, the yellow. If I'm trying to make this more straighter. The yellow label. It's like their version of the cheaper. They're really good because what I've seen about the Bounty Essentials, the yellow label, not the green, the regular green Bounty, the Bounty Essentials, they didn't have them when my husband went to the store the other day. He got Walmart version. They're okay. They're okay, but I still like Bounty Essentials better. They're pretty good. It's not as good as Bounty Essentials are more fluffier. They don't they don't break apart when you wash stuff so much. I find they're fluffier almost like and they don't leave too much lint behind, like a dish towel or something. They're a little fluffier. They're good absorbing. The Bounty Essentials are very good paper towel to get. Try, try them. Trust me. Even buy one or two rolls and see what you think. Now, they got them at Dollar Tree. It's kind of a ripoff. It's such a small roll. Honest to God, it's not much bigger than this. It's like a little bit thicker. These are those the, the Walmart comparable to Bounty. It's, it's all right. It's not as good as Bounty Essentials. But uh, the, the Bounty Essentials at, at, at Dollar Tree is just a little bit bigger than this for $1.25. You're really not getting very much. You're not getting a big roll is what I'm trying to say. You're getting a roll that's a tad bit bigger than that. But if you go to Walmart or whatever, get Bounty Essentials. Try it out. It's the yellow label ones. I like them. They're big, fluffy paper towels. They're strong. They're durable. Try them. You'll like them. Another thing. I'm going to be putting on makeup while I tell you guys all this stuff. Another thing, um, um, I was going to tell you guys that uh, Windex, I, I, I got Dollar Tree and Walmart. Walmart isn't as bad. They have a little bit of um, ammonia in theirs, but Dollar Tree, it's just colored water. It's just colored water. It doesn't take any... And I'm going to tell you why. I have reason. I have proof to say buy nothing but Windex. And I'm going to tell you why. My husband's a me mechanic. His hands are always greasy, always dirty. He touches the refrigerators, doors, what, what have it, whatever. Let's say I wash so much, I wash the... To finish off the top of our microwave, the paint is actually coming off the top of the microwave. That's another thing I need that I'm going to get to down the road is a new freaking microwave because that microwave is shot. It, I looked inside. It's rusting inside. I bought it when I first moved into my mother-in-law's and it was $250. So I'm going to have my husband get us a new microwave down the road here very soon. I want an air fryer. He's going to give me an air fryer on Tuesday. Lily of the Valley perfume. I love that. I used to get that years ago when my mom was alive. And somehow it just came in my head yesterday. I'm like, Mom, I'm getting it. Because my mom loved it too. I love that smell. Lily of the Valley. I love it. Um, okay, I don't want to get subject. Get Windex. Because I noticed when I used... Uh, Dollar Tree or, or Walmart's 
Windex. The grease and the dirt's still there. Use Windex. It takes it right off. It cleans it. It cuts through that grease and dirt. And most of the time, you know, when they say Windex, people use it for countertops, windows, and any kind of counter. You need something to get the grease and dirt off. And that's what does it. And I'm sorry, it's more money than I want to spend. But this other stuff don't work. I and I and I and I I tested this a couple weeks ago quite a few times. I was buying the junky stuff and buying the better stuff and I'm like, "Wow, what a difference." Buy nothing but Windex. And I don't even like the brand with the Windex brand that has the the um vinegar in them. No, I want regular heavy-duty hard Windex, and I know Amy always says she's not brand specific, but to me, some brands I have to because it does certain things that the other brands don't. And especially when you got somebody that's a mechanic in your house, and everything's at a risk to be dirty at any given moment because of my husband and his greasy dirtiness. Ugh. So Windex, Bounty, essential paper towels. What else? Oh, Pledge. Try to buy cheaper brands like Dollar Tree or even like, oh my neck, Walmart's version of Pledge. It isn't the same. It isn't the same. My furniture is really dry and Pledge has the moisturizers and it gives a finish. It gives a light finish. It cleans, it conditions the wood, it does what it says, and it really does. It gives it a light finish where it looks glossy and clean and shiny. It makes it look really nice. So yeah, another makeup that I don't, I need to start going dumpster diving here again, but yeah, the Tarte, T-A-R-T, this is good makeup. Now I found this other one in the dumpster. It don't. It just like lays on my skin. This blends in my skin. There's a difference. This is a little too light though. The one I gave my mother-in-law, and it just it was already drying up. But that color was better for me for summer because this is just this is more of a winter color for me because I get tan and shit easily. So yeah. So this T-A-R-T makeup foundation is off the chain good. It's expensive, but man, is it good. Some things to me are worth the price. Let's just put it that way. I got a mosquito bite in the car here. I just thought that was odd, you know? I got a mosquito bite in the car. I thought it was a pimple. No, it's a mosquito bite. I'm like, wow. But yeah, um, yeah, Windex and Pledge. I need a new Pledge. I try to clean my mother-in-law's dresser very dirty. She wouldn't even let me go in her room ever. And that's all right, whatever. I used to try to hurry up and clean or do something when she was at school. She was only gone an hour and a half or two. It was not enough time for me ever because she had shit to the ceiling in there. So everybody does what they're going to do, you know. So, But I need a new can of Pledge I got to get. Definitely. Okay, so the three things I've recommended so far, Windex Pledge and Bounty Essential paper towels, and pretty much cleaners, too. Now, I like Fabulicio, the purple the best. I got the yellow free dumpster diving. Of course, I'm going to use it. I got it for free. But, you know, it smells like lemon. I don't really care for that. I like the purple one. The purple's got such a clean, nice smell. I don't know. And it, and it's also, the purple Fabulicio is um, biodegradable. It's like, it's non-toxic is what I'm trying to say. Like, you can put it in your laundry, a half a cup, cup of it, and it helps cut the grease, and it makes your laundry smell good. Very good tip. And I was told that by one of my friends, and it, it's, it works. Try that. The purple one. Put a half a cup cup in your laundry, and man, it makes it smell good. It cuts the grease and dirt off your clothes. It's really good. Really good to do that with. 
but I love it for the floors and everything else. I like Fabulicio and that fake pine saw. Nope, no good. Because my mother-in-law, my husband, smoked so much, you'd see orange streaks running down the walls. Nasty. I got to clean and wash all our walls. But again, it's been... I'm trying to, I can do stuff on my days off. It's hard for me to do stuff when I'm working. I don't have much time. But, um, pine saw is where it's at. Because pine saw kills germs and it cuts the grease and dirt. If Because I can't get on a ladder and, and, and hand wash ceilings on. That's too much why I take like a, 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 a mop a floor washer and I wash the walls that way and keep rinsing it out and rinsing it out and that's what I'm going to do before I paint and clean anything up I'm going to wash all the walls in the kitchen and laundry room and in the bathroom and probably in the living room too and then use paint in the kitchen in the what do they call that the nook or whatever the little breakfast area uh, little um, what would that be called kitchenette I think yeah um, big difference pine saw is where it's at pine saw cuts the grease and dirt and it leaves clean this behind I'm trying not to poke my eye with this mascara And all these other mascaras bother my eyes, but this Mega Volume Wet n Wild don't seem to. And I got some better mascaras here. I don't know. Bother my eyes. So, so far, Bounty Essential Paper Towels, Windex Pine Sol, and Fabulousio. That's the cleaning things that I will not be without. Because I've tried... Like the dollar store cheap pine cleaners. They don't even smell good. And it's just like water. Coming out of the jar. It doesn't do anything. Just like that cheap dish, dish soap. From Dollar Tree. It's like blue or green. Oh my god. That stuff doesn't suds. It doesn't make no suds. No suds at all. I found it before dumpster dive. And I give it away. I won't even use it. Won't even use it. It's no good. No good. Don't. Ugh, it's garbage. It's not even worth anything. Somebody said they used it, though, to wash their dog. Okay, maybe that, but I don't like it. What else? Okay, those are Pine Cell Fabulicio Pledge Bounty Essential Paper Towels Comet Cleanser. Comet Cleanser is an oldie but goodie. It works well. And it bleaches. And Clorox with bleach is good. I like that too. For your countertops and stuff. Or like bath mats and things that need to be bleached out. Very good. Oh, my knee's hurting like a bugger. It's supposed to rain in Michigan. Sorry, I just want to crack it. It would feel... You know, it's, sometimes you got to crack stuff and it makes it feel better. But that's some of my favorite, like, cleaning products and things. I'm a big thing on cleaning. I Yeah. Lysol wipes, too. I like them pretty much better. Clorox wipes are good, but Lysol's, even, I think, to me, even better. Yeah. A little bit better. One thing I know food-wise that I like, my husband doesn't like, and he don't ever want me to make it. And, I mean, he's just got no problem with me making it. He just won't eat it. And I lo and my mother-in-law loved it, too. I love salmon patties. They are so easy to make. You take them out of the can. You clean the bones and the little hard pieces of bone out of the spine. You take that all out of the fish. And you'd be clean because you don't want that getting caught in your throat or anything. Oh, my God. You clean all that out of the fish. And then you put breadcrumbs in there, a little lemon juice, 
um, you can put a little bit of cheese, Parmesan cheese, ball it up, onions, parsley, and fry it. Salt and pepper. Oh my God. I'm going to buy a can of that. Actually, I got to text my husband. I'm going to tell him to buy a can of that to store because he won't eat that. But a can will make me three or four salmon patties. And I can eat on that two or three days. And I like rice a with that. And then a vegetable. Sometimes peas or green beans. Or, yeah, that's really good. Or corn on the cob. But, yeah, he won't eat that. But me and his ma, his ma really liked it when I made it. And that's actually, I think of it, that's one of the last dinners that I made for her about two weeks before she passed. She ate that. I remember her eating that. I remember she was blaming it on her tongue. She couldn't eat food. I bought her a whole Chinese dinner. She, almond bowl and chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah, I want that. She didn't even touch it. Sat in the refrigerator. It was... 10, it was dinner size or whatever. It was $10, $12 down the drain. No, like $12 or $13, $14 down the drain. I gave it, I think I gave it to the cats. No, I gave it to the cats so it didn't go totally waste. Yeah, I can't. If somebody isn't going to eat something and the cats can eat it, watch out. The cats are getting it. Because, yeah. I'm trying to feed her. Like, Woofy would only eat so much of that chicken, and that's a small chicken to begin with from Kroger. It isn't big to begin with, or Walmart. It's small, right? But I gave the rest of the chickens. They were all lining up, looking at each other, wanting to fight her. But they were waiting their little turns. They're waiting their little kitty turns. They're like this. They're looking at what they're waiting. They're looking like this, right? They're waiting for the other one to get out of the way so they can get their turn. They're waiting. They're looking. They were so sweet. So I bet you when I go home, there'll be just like nothing left. And that's good. And I gave him a little bit of my husband's rice aroni he let left over from last night. And rice aroni chicken, not much like a less than a half a cupful. They ate the crap out of that too. That's good. And it's good for them. It's got vegetables in there. So I try to give them what I can when I can. So they're fine. And I, they got all dry, good food. I got to call my husband and tell him if it rains to pick up the dry food and put it under the porch. Oh, gosh. Because they won't touch it then. Oh, I'm so sorry. But that's some of my favorite things. And, of course, here's another one. Tide laundry soap is the best laundry soap hands down. You can't afford it. Get the yellow Tide with the yellow you know, it's in a yellow thing. It still works pretty damn good, but it's not as expensive as the orange bottle. It works pretty darn good, and it smells good. The one that's got the fresh in it, I don't know what it's exactly called, fresh what. <sighs> I apologize. What is it called? I'm trying to think. But it's in a yellow jug. It's tied. And it's the watered down version. But it's still better than any, to me, better than any of the other economical laundry soaps. It is good. The, the value brand of Tide. Very good. I recommend that highly. Very good. And get the one with the mountain fresh scent or whatever. It smells really clean and nice. Um... Oh my gosh, excuse me. I, I, did I say dish soap? Dawn. Nothing's like Dawn. I got gained. Gained's just like water. Dollar Tree dish soap, their brand is horrible. They give you that big jug for a dollar. It's just garbage. Doesn't even make sense. Doesn't, don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Just don't waste it. You're, you're not fooling nobody. That shit don't work. Um, no suds at all. None at all. But uh, I just wanted to come on here with those. There's more things I can't think of right now. And I got to go to the bathroom. So. What's up with this yawning all this all the blue? My gosh, I'm so sorry. Everybody's like, oh my God, what's wrong with you, girl? Meaning me. I got to blow my nose. You know, I didn't. It's been hard sleeping the last couple of nights. My dog, he wouldn't come in. My husband had to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and go chase my dog and catch him behind the garage. He wouldn't come in. I can't handle that. And you call him and he don't come? 
Oh, that's bad. Oh, my knee cracked. He's bad. Bad, bad, bad. My husband was dead asleep. <sighs> Excuse me, and during the day, too. Before I was leaving, he did the same thing. He wouldn't come in, but I heard him crying. And I went ballistic. I shut all the TVs off. I heard, I'm like, I heard him crying. I'm like, oh, no, something has happened to him. So my husband got him behind the garage. <sighs> He don't even come when you call. I swear he's the most baddest dog I've ever had. I've never had a dog that doesn't come when you call him. I never. I don't know what to do with him. He's just bad. He's rotten. Rotten to the core. Oh, but if he wants something, he's coming to you. Little damn devil. But these are the things. If I yawn one more time... Jump to the camera and smack the shit out of me. This is ridiculous. I apologize. I don't even want to air this, but I don't want to say all this stuff over about these cleaning products. I'll come back. I'm going to drink some cola and get my act together. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to start on Monday, I hope to, or if not Tuesday, on my day off. We're getting these glass jugs through Amazon and Walmart's version of Crystal Light. I bought my husband. He well, he bought them, but I gave him the money for it. Seven of them, or six of them, the other day. All these different flavors. I'm not gonna drink pop no more. I'm just gonna bring to work a jug, empty thing of orange juice, full of Crystal Light, and put it on ice. I gotta cut the sugar down somehow because when I did that years ago, I lost 50 or 60 pounds just from that. Nothing else cutting nothing else out of my diet so we're going to start there I got to improve myself somehow some way so I'm going to be back with you guys later telling you some more of my other favorite things I apologize from yawning let me go before I do it again and I'm going to come back and tell you some more things I like and what I think is worth it I am so sorry please forgive me I don't know I couldn't I can't stop I want to do it again so I'm going to go and wait till I come back then I'm better love you all God bless you all check out the things I told you to check out they're worth it. Have a great day. I'll be back shortly.